What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Richard. Today is the day that Nintendo and Nintendo Switch is handling their business. What am I talking about? Well, everybody and their mom has been on the Nintendo Switch mini train. Everybody has said, oh, this is how it's going to be. This is what the system is going to look like. And one person, I forgot the gentleman name, but he came out with the prototype of the Nintendo Switch, where it was together one whole piece, and it was a re it, you can actually recharge it. You know what I'm saying? It had to recharge and dock like you would have for your cell phones, and that was pretty cool. But today, we got all the answers that everybody who's been talking about this Nintendo Switch Mini, we got the answers today. First and foremost, it is not the Nintendo Switch Mini. It is the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, the thing about it being Nintendo Switch Lite compared to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you mine right quick compared to my system. How you can take off um, the size and you can use them as like uh, wireless remote controls. You cannot do that on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, switch like it is a one whole system you can't take off anything there and then another thing there's no uh where you can prop up the system itself or the tablet itself um it's just one whole complete piece now yes it still have the sd card slot yes it still of course have where you can play and put your games in but there's a stipulation when it comes to the games but we're going to talk about that in a little bit now, the one thing about this that I was kind of like, okay, I'm glad that they're doing this, is the color scheme. Now, they're coming out with a yellow, I look at it as a mustard yellow, a aqua, and I forgot the other color. Don't jump on me, you probably. But I just like the fact that, you know, Nintendo sat back and said, we're not going to do the traditional, regular colors like blue, uh, green, red, black, stuff like that. They're giving it like a beautiful different side of the uh, color rainbow. And I, I appreciate that. I really like that about Nintendo. Now, another thing, in my opinion, that I'm going to tell you like this. I was very, very upset about was the fact that you cannot use this game system and dock it and it show up on your TV. That's one major thing, in my opinion, that kind of like upset me because... I know me. If I buy this for my five-year-old great-nephew, and I know it's going to come with a dock so it can charge up, but most people is going to be like, oh, let me hook it up to the TV so you can play on the TV. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Um, they made sure to mention that it will not be able to show up on the TV. I don't know why. Maybe they changed some things. That's what it sounds like. But it is what it is. When it came to the commercial portion and I was looking at it, I noticed that, you know, they kind of pointed this new system towards like the early 20 year olds, the teens and the kids. You know, of course, you know, you got to definitely do it for the kids because this is the answer for all parents that wanted to get their kids a Nintendo Switch. But, you know, they didn't want a $300 game system to be broke within a you know uh six months a year or what have you now another great thing about the system is the fact that it's it's rubberized around the whole system so it's not like the original uh nintendo switch or as i call it the og it don't have like that hard steel or hard stainless steel or whatever type of uh material it's straight plastic that i like because kids you know they're going to bump and bump into stuff, drop stuff, and stuff like that. It happens. And the fact that they thought about it and said, let's make it, let's take a rubberized uh, type plastic and just put it over there. So if a child drops it or anybody drops it, it's not going to affect the system. Now, another thing that was confusing, and to this is just to me, even though I know they're probably going to bring it out um, in China first. But they were saying the date was 2019-19, uh, holiday season. Never heard of 2019. I heard 1919, but not no 20 for the, you know, the month. 
So I guess for US it's gonna be 12, 19, 19 is when it's gonna come out. That's a good move. Christmas holiday season. You know everybody's gonna be rushing trying to get it for their child, teenager, and maybe even their self. I'm I'm even thinking about getting one. So when I'm at work or stuff like that and I wanna play my system, I don't have to bring the original, the OG. I could bring the 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 new one and don't have to you know worry about the bulk and all that craziness now uh another great thing for i get out of here that i like um is the fact that you know even though it's smaller it's compact i love that's the one thing i love about game systems when they're compact when you can fit it in your pocket when you can fit it in your book bag with ease, no issues. That right there gives an automatic big dog thumbs up right there for me. That's just me. Now, another concerning situation, and I'm going to give you a demonstration. I got uh, my Saints Row, uh, the third full package right here. I I've never noticed this, but I guess until now. But I got my finger right there. Let me see if I get the glare. If you see right there, you see the one and the solid uh, game system right there. If you see that right there, that means that you can play the game on that brand new Nintendo Switch Lite. If you don't see that whole game, con the whole game system and that number one, you will not be able to play that game. To me, that's kind of a letdown because Nintendo has a big nice library when it comes to the switch and if it don't have that you kind of screwed of course they're gonna make it uh possible for all the super marios the links and all that good stuff but some of your third party games you probably not going to be able to play on here you might be able to download them but that's just about it now the main thing that was kind of a mystery that they never talked about was the price so we don't know what the price is going to be my opinion if the nintendo switch og is 300 if i'm a nintendo if, if i'm a person and i've been dealing with nintendo since the original old school nes i think they're going to price it at maybe 150 175 in that range because in my, in my opinion that's a good range for that i can't see them pricing nintendo switch Lite over 300 that right there would be an automatic fail so in my opinion before i get out of here i'm gonna give it 150 to 175 uh price tag sticker in my opinion hopefully i'm right but we will see as the holiday season come close and they really start like throwing out the prices and all that good stuff i wish they said the price then but you know they they not gonna do that you know but anyway i i liked it if you want to check it out you can go to cnet check it out right there a uh, nintendo switch Lite, or go to nintendo.com and you can check it out right there the three new colors the system itself and the whole nine well this is your boy richard thank each and every one that checked this out thank each and every one that will also at the same time don't forget to give your boy a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe because every time you subscribe, you get to see all my new content. I'll let y'all later.